Oh yeah, I had a few comments about the gray cabrio that was next to that Maytag in the other video. Listen to it. It was a no fix. Bad gear case and bearings. So didn't make a video on that one. It would have been a good one. Pounding coffee fix and appliances. <laughs> Good morning, y'all. LA Appliance Guy here, breakfast of champions. We got in this pretty Maytag commercial. Said it was filling and draining out, and I have a guess that it's probably the water valve, but let's see what codes it throws. It's like a little present. Christmas came early. <laughs> Uh, crazy people. If you know what that does, let me know in the comments because I've hit it and I don't know what it extra powers up. I haven't figured it out. I hadn't figured it out. Let's see, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. F81, long fill, no fill. Boom. They were really particular about me not scratching it. Um, but it's pretty scratched. But hey, it, I'll just try not to scratch the front. Good. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Go to service diagnostics, component activation, door lock. Cold water out. Got a little trickle. Got a little trickle. Train pump. We're training. Toggle shifter, blah, blah, blah. Blah, 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 blah. Well, we got a F81, so we know it's that valve. Let's just run it with a quick wash just for the heck of it. Make sure everything else works. Why are you still feeling? <laughs> it's probably gonna just drain out eventually. Hmm. Man, this thing filled all the way up. Crazy. The washer has a twin dishwasher. Don't scratch the dishwasher. That's a big deal. I guess we're going into rants. Sucker drains good, that's for sure. Probably just the old water valve. You can see they had a drip, drip, drip for a while too. Hope it didn't ruin their floors. Yeah. And if you haven't done it already, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe to the channel. We're on our way to a thousand, trying to make it there before Thanksgiving, Turkey Day. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Uh, and I really appreciate everybody who's liking and subscribing. And I'm checking out a stove. Thanks. Really appreciate it. You rock!
Scotty. And she's done. One, two, three. No hit, no fault. But if these ever throw a F81, I always put a valve on. Ain't worth taking that chance. I'm just gonna take the two quarters out of the back, slide the top forward and lean it back. That way I can get to the clips on the top control panel easily. It's just easier that way. Might as well go ahead and take the hot and cold water valve, uh, water hoses off the valve because we're gonna be changing it. Then a few more quarters and the back comes off. You'll have to take the harness off of the old one and put it onto the new valve, but they're very tight. So I usually just take this flathead and pry each terminal just to pop it loose. I guess it has the little locking tabs in there. I'm not sure though. Yeah. They're very simple to change. One screw there, one screw there, and you take the harness off and it plugs in right there. Very simple. All right, y'all, quick truck rant about water valves. This valve is a four solenoid setup. It's actually cheaper than the one that has three. Why, I don't know. But at one point we couldn't find the three, so we were having to use the four in that situation. But just long story short, there used to be like one water valve to fit 90% of the units, and it was like $20. Uh, but now that one there, I think is almost 90. So it's just, and I know it's got a thermistor and four solenoids, so it's more than just a hot and a cold, but Ah, uh, we stock like 20 different water valves now for Whirlpool made units. Maytag, all of them. It's just, that's just the Whirlpool brand. All right, rant over, heading to vote. Y'all have a good evening. Back to the video. Okay, so anytime you change a major component with the drive or the lid lock, blah, 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 you should do the DLMS recalibrate I mean I just got into a habit of doing it it's in the factory diagnostics yeah I don't know what a DLMS is but it's kind of like the old VMs over there with the recalibration so you might as well run it just for the heck of it it's supposed to optimize the washing action or something there we go Washing those big old blankets. Big old blankets. Wash complete. Yay! Let's see if we get a jingle. Is there, are we going to get a Maytag jingle? That's it. Boo. Boo. All right, let's check for codes again. Hello. Okay, there we go. No fault codes. All right, just zip the backpack on and we're done.
And there you have it. Quick water valve change on a Maytag. Commercial. Extra power. Extra power. I still don't even know what the extra power button does. If you know what that does, let me know in the comments because I've hit it and I don't know what it extra powers up. I haven't figured it out. All right, y'all, quick, easy fix. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe to the channel. We need like 75 more subscribers to make it to 1,000. That's insane. I still remember I saw I made it to 100 and I was like, 100 subscribers? That's crazy. Y'all tripping. Uh, but that's just a little four valve and thermistor on a Maytag commercial. Thank y'all. Have a great day. Hey, I almost forgot. If you made it to the end of the video and you want to prove it, put down in the comments. Extra power. Extra friggin' power. Extra power. <laughs> uh, I'm ready to go home. Give me that extra freaking power. <laughs> I'm losing it. Thanks for watching, y'all.